Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alexis. If you are coming back, thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited. It was kind of a trend on TikTok for a while and it's called like the unapproachable makeup trend. But honestly, it's just like a dark eye, heavy liner, lashes, like full beat, full glam. Honestly, when I'm doing my makeup, it's hard for me to speak and explain what I'm doing. So I just did a voiceover for this video. So I hope you enjoy it. I love you all so much and thank you for watching. All right, I'm gonna start by chugging some Red Bull because I got like no sleep last night. And then I use the e.l.f. Power Grip primer. I've been using it for months and I honestly feel like my makeup stays all day when I use it. And then I use the NYX brow pencil. I believe this is the shade Espresso and I draw in my brows with it. And then I take the Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I take a little brush and I shape out my brows. This is very like 2016 but I have been doing my brows like this for so long and it's just my favorite way to do it. Then I'm going to go in with the Got To Be Glued to hold my eyebrows in place, make sure they stay all day. Then I'm going to go in with the Makeup by Mario Foundation. I just got this a few days ago and I've honestly really been liking it. It's a very natural coverage and it blends very well. I do also want to say my camera has a smoothing filter on it. My skin is not perfect. I did struggle with acne for a long time. but. I want to be completely transparent with you guys. I do have a smoothing filter on in this video and most of my videos. Now I'm just blending, blending, blending all of the concealer out. I use the Maybelline Fit Me concealer for my face as well. Now we're going to bake our face. I have been using the Anastasia, Anastasia? Beverly Hills setting powder. Alta has a deal right now for $10 mini setting powders for this brand, so that's a steal. Now going in with my Le Bronze, my favorite bronzers. I've been using it for like a month now, and I just really like the way that it blends, and the shade honestly goes well with my skin tone. Put a little bronzer on each side of my nose and blend it into the corner of my eyes, right under the cheekbones, and on the forehead. And then now I am just sweeping away any extra setting powder and setting my face. Now we're gonna go in with the ColourPop blush stick in the shade Cool It. But any brush, any, <laughs> any blush will work. I just really like creamy blushes like this. I found this hack when I was like 15 to take like scotch tape and use it to do like your eyeshadow and eyeliner so it's like really even and really sharp and I still do it to this day. I live by it. First by Nature Palette, I am using the third darkest shade starting at the corner and just kind of blending towards the inner eye. I do this quite a few times and then I take a fluffier blending brush to blend it out and then I'm going in with the lightest shade in the palette and blending everything up through the crease to create a smoky eye. For the scariest part, I struggle with eyeliner sometimes but having the tape helps but it still stresses me out especially with waterproof eyeliner this is the nyx epic ink liner i just got this as well and i already love it so we're just gonna do our best to make the wings as even as possible and then you're going to kind of follow the inner corner of your eye and kind of like extend the liner pointing almost downwards and this honestly takes some practice 
This was my first time ever doing the pointed eyeliner in the inner corners, but if you just take your time with it, you can do it. I believe in you. Now going in with a black eyeshadow, I am blending everything underneath the eye and kind of blending out that inner corner eyeliner as well. And now I'm going to go in with a cream black liner and I'm going to line the waterline and the tight line. And I also like to go back in after this and just blend all of the eyeliner and the eyeshadow out so it looks almost seamless. This is when I got something in my eye and fucked it up, but I somehow fixed it and I was really happy because I was so upset with myself. My eyes started watering so bad and I thought I was going to have to completely start over. So thank God that did not happen. I like to use the Tarte XL Tubing Mascara. It always makes my eyelashes look really long and thick and I just absolutely love this mascara. Even though we're going to use false lashes, I still always like to curl my lashes and do some layers of mascara first. I think it all just blends together and I honestly sometimes feel like the lashes even stick better. Now I'm using the Kiss Eye Lure Fake Lashes. These are the Royal Lashes. They don't have a complete inner corner, which is nice for my eye shape. I feel like a lot of strip lashes always come off in the inner corner. So these start about like a fourth away through the eye. And I just think they give a really nice cat eye look. It's now time for highlighter, which is my favorite part. I have too much highlighter. I love to glow. It just ties everything together, especially that tip of the nose highlighter. I do at the top of my cheekbones, the bridge and tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and the bridge of my eyebrows. I just use my eyebrow pencil to go over the freckles that I do have but were covered by the makeup just to have it look just a little more natural and freckles are always cute. And the last step is lips. I'm using the NYX lip pencil in shade espresso and the NYX fat lip oil in the shade chillin like a villain. <laughs> and that's gonna conclude the unapproachable makeup look. I hope you all loved it. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah.